Hello and welcome. This is Sandeep Thakkar and you are watching its tomorrow news. Nearly 900,000 are without power after Hurricane Irma began battering Puerto Rico Wednesday after slamming the island of Barbuda and Antigua and leaving at least three dead. Overnight, the powerful Category 5 hurricane made a direct hit on the island of Barbuda, home to some 2,000 residents. French overseas minister Annick Gigardin said that there have been two dead on the island of Saint Bartholomew and Saint Martin. Local sources BFMTV.com reports. She added that two other were seriously injured. This hurricane has the potential to be a major event for the East Coast. Ivan Mayer, AccuWeather expert, senior meteorologist and chief operating officer said. It also has the potential to significantly strain FEMA and other government resources occurring so quickly on the hills of Hawaii. Barbuda and Antigua's Prime Minister Gaston Braune confirmed that a two-year-old child died while the family was trying to escape a damaged home during a storm, reports Associate Press. The winds that we are experiencing right now are like nothing we have experienced before, he told CNN. Let's pull people out of the harm's way and make sure our family are secure. Almost 50,000 are without water, Puerto Rico's emergency management agency told the Associated Press. St. Martin Airport, the third largest in the Caribbean, has been destroyed, with local officials saying that most buildings on the territory have been leveled. Residents are said to be without drinking water and electricity and emergency crew are still trying to reach the worst hit areas. That's all for now. For more news update, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Sandeep Thakkar.